Hello, in this example we can see how to automate replicable structural design. We will create steel hall easily controlled by slider nodes. First, we can create a grid system controlled by slider nodes to fully automate our project. Just see how quickly it propagates changes to whole grid system. All those changes are reflected in the grid manager. You can save those changes in transaction panel as an optional arrangement or remove them. Notice that grid manager is updated. From this point, if needed, you can control grid settings like naming or horizontal and vertical grid lines. Now we will build geometry of our steel hall, which will be fully controlled by the grid system. Foundation, concrete piers are located on top of grid lines intersection. Notice that grid controllers allow us to keep a lid on a newly created geometry. Now we will start to build our geometry from lines. Column height, roof height, number of roof purlins, and sidewall girts are fully controlled by a set of sliders, so relationship between them will be captured. GC will automatically propagate changes without the need to manually rebuild the entire model. Additionally, we can highlight control nodes to master our project more effectively. As before, we can remove changes from transaction panel or suppress them for later use. On top of those lines, we will build up structural members full of information, steel columns, beams, etc. The last step will be to use an export node to export selected geometry to the DDN file. After changes, we can save design alternative by only changing the exported file name.
Now we will open one of our files in Open Building Designer. Notice that all elements we've created are reflected in schedule, segregated by catalog types we assign to them. You can even find the information about their position on grid lines. You can control the properties from schedule level, for example by changing section profile or directly from Excel which is fully integrated with Open Building Designer. Notice that our model is entirely editable from Open Building Designer level. You can change a height of the elements or delete some of them if needed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.